We're testing out direct to film printing on a bunch of materials today. And we'll show you what we learned and how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're learning a little bit more about our direct to film printer. Yes, and what better way to learn than to do some testing? So we have lots of materials today. We're gonna print out an image for each one, share our settings, and then we're gonna press them live on this recorded video for you right now. What did we learn so far? So far, we learned that we cannot, or it's not a great option to use our Cricut Easy Press. We do need a heat press. And like I said last week, we have one on order. But until then, our friends next door at Townsend Screen Printing have loaned us an automatic heat press. So we'll be using that today. This one, we can set the pressure and we can dial that in to make sure that we have that heavy pressure that we're looking for. It is a big it's pneumatic <laughs> thing. It is. It is heavy, it comes with this It's in a little cart right here beside us, so yeah, we're gonna use that for pressing today. We also learned that we went out of town over the weekend, the printer sat, and those print heads will get clogged easily. Yeah, the white print head clogs easily. So you wanna make sure that you print on a regular basis, like we're daily. gonna try printing daily to make sure that those print heads do not get clogged. And it ha we're gonna keep that white stirring yeah that, that white's got to stir it will separate very quickly it like has over a separate seven days it has a separate motor on the printer so that will stay on and we will keep that white stirring and then we'll do a quick print every day of something just to make sure we don't clog those print heads and we keep the thing printing as efficiently yeah, as possible as efficiently as possible <laughs> we've already printed all of our images but we changed one thing in our print settings each time just to see how they would turn out. And for the first project, metal, we noticed that a JPEG, that's this one, didn't seem to work as well as a PNG. It didn't pick up all the colors. So it's it didn't probably color hard it to white. see from over there. They're actually missing, there's missing inks down here at the bottom. It's actually, yeah, maybe that's yeah, better. It's only in the banner though, so. We think it's a color that it didn't pick up. Maybe like pure white, it didn't pick up pure white or something. Something along those lines, but we printed it again from a PNG and it worked perfectly. Yeah, I just re-exported it as a PNG and it works perfectly. All right, let's give it a go. So test number one, metal. We're gonna put this candy shop on this piece of metal. It's like, I don't know, tin, something you pick up at the craft store. We found it in the uh, clearance bin. The printer settings that we used for the metal print was white at 1440 by 1440, color 1440 by 1440, that's the resolution. We used the image type photograph, our dot size was medium and large. The color settings were 65% color, 100% white. For the white ink, we used 100% white under color pixels. That will give it a whole white back. Then on the print screen for every print, we made sure the check boxes were checked for print color first and color plus white. The size of this print was 11 and a quarter inches by 11 and a quarter inches. It took 21 minutes and 30 seconds. We're going to press all of these at 300 degrees for 10 seconds, peel, and then press again for five more seconds. That second press helps set this thing a little bit better, so we're gonna do a second press. Just put this over it? Uh, I'm afraid to put that over it. Yeah. The second press, we were nervous to do with the easy press. Yes, with the easy press, when we did a second press, the image slid, and that's why we really feel like we need a heat press. Ooh, that's right. hot. It's like a sticker. Look at the edges. I see. A little peel off. Woo, that's hot. Better let that set, us, set that aside. But it looks good. It does look good. Test number two, canvas. This is a canvas just on like a piece of cardboard. Again, got it from the hobby shop. Our printer settings for this one, we had white resolution at 1440 by 720 color resolution at 1440 by 720, 
Image type was photograph, dot size was medium and large. Our color settings, we had color at 65%, white at 100%. We also use the 100% white underneath the colored pixels. The size of this image was nine inches by 12 inches. It took nine minutes and seven seconds. I don't think the image was that much smaller, but it took half the time. And I think that's because we took the resolution down to 720. You didn't think that was funny? I thought it was funny. They can't see that. Oh, maybe I guess over. It's like a big sticker. It's like a big hot sticker. It's hot. Right. <laughs> this one might be better to let it cool so that you can cut those edges nice and neat. Um, while it was hot, it was an easy tear. It ripped. Yeah, I thought oh. maybe I could wrap the edges. Yeah, it make looks it look a little like bit. It's wrapped. Uh huh. I see yeah. that sign made it look like it was wrapped. Cool. Test three: eighth inch birch plywood. Our printer settings for this one were white resolution was at 1440 by 1440. Our color resolution was at 1440 by 1440. Our image type was text and graphic. That's what we changed here. Our dot size was medium and large. Our color settings were 65% color, 100% white. Our white ink settings were 100% white under colored pixels. This was a six and a half inch by 11 and a half inch image size. The print took 15 minutes and 21 seconds. Looks good though, you can't even tell that's on wood really. No, you can't, I think. Now, because this is birch plywood and it is only eighth inch, it looks good right now, but I think it should cool with the slate on top, don't you? Agreed. I don't want it to warp. See, it's looking good. All right, we're just gonna lay a slate on it to make sure it doesn't warp while it cools. Warp while it cools. Hopefully this slate will kind of pull out some yeah, of that heat this even. Is a cold slate. Test four, acrylic. Our printer settings for acrylic were white resolution at 1440 by 1440, color resolution at 1440 by 1440, image type was photograph, dot size medium and large. Our color settings were color at 65% white at 100%. Then we tried using gradient white under the color pixel. That kind of just would leave darker white or more white behind the lighter colors and less white behind darker colors. Here's an example. Each heart was three inches. It was six of them. It took 15 minutes and 16 seconds. And can you see how it kind of regulated the white behind the colors? There's more white behind the pink than there is the black. I don't know, you can't really tell from the print. Mm -mm. Doesn't look any different. We're just gonna put that, we're gonna trade places with the birch. Yeah, that's much cooler now. Alrighty. Trading places, just like that 80s sitcom. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that cool and press flat. Test five, canvas. We have these canvas aprons. We're gonna put our logo on them. Yep, these, this is a heavy canvas. This is not like a t-shirt material. We did a t-shirt material last week. This is canvas and it's still on a black fabric. So let's see how it looks. Our printer settings for this one were white at 1440 by 1440, color resolution at 1440 by 1440. Our image type, we stuck with photograph and our dot size was mixed. That's what we changed this time. Our color settings, we used color at 65%, white at 100%. For our white ink, we used 100% white under colored pixels. Each of these were about three inches by nine inches. It took three minutes and 12 seconds.
Oh wow, yeah, that looks freaking awesome. That looks great. Yeah. So let's show the camera. All right, this looks great. This this worked great. Looks great. You can see where it pressed in. You can kind of see the like big threads through it. Yes. The so fibers. it has it has sunk into the fibers a little bit. Yeah, that's great looking. Oh, it feels right. cool. All right. Yeah, some of these others, we have to wait a moment, but this one was like immediate satisfaction. Yeah. <laughs> immediate gratif gratification. Test six, stainless steel tumblers. But we're gonna try to use these little shrink wrap sleeves like for sublimation using the direct to film transfers. And we're gonna still try and put it in our toaster oven. We're gonna use the same method we use for sublimation, but we're gonna use this up with the DTF transfer. You could just use the heat gun. Yeah, I thought about that too. Do you want to try that real quick? Yeah, let's just try to use the heat gun. Let's see. Ooh, that's hot. All right, maybe you don't even need you don't even need the toaster oven. Yeah, let's maybe see. you don't even need the toaster oven. Let's see. All right, should I cool it down first? Oh yeah, if it's a, if it's that hot, set it aside. I'm gonna go run it under cold water. Okay. Be right back. All right, I'm back. It's cool. Ready? All, all right, right. moment stoked. of truth. I'm stoked. Oh, it didn't oh, stick. Oh, it didn't stick at all. Interesting. Yeah. Almost, it tried to. All right, mm. maybe didn't get it. Let's try baking it. You got another sleeve? Well, I know we do. All right, we're gonna put it in a 300 degree oven for 20 seconds, one minute. Don't show them that oven, it's so dirty. That's the one in our shop kitchen and it is not pretty. <laughs> All right, I'm back, and I think it worked. I have a good feeling about this one. Well, I see it shrunk itself. Yeah, it's a lot tighter. The sleeve's a lot tighter on it. We did a pitiful job getting it tight. Yeah, it's a lot tighter on there. All right, ready? Moment of truth. Ready, let's did see. Did it or didn't it? <gasps> it oh, did. Oh, it totally worked. Oh, maybe not. Look at that. Oh, the E come on. The E didn't stick. Oh, the E didn't stick. Hold up. Oh, I peeled the E off the first time. I think maybe that's why it didn't uh -oh. stick. Oh, that doesn't count. I pulled the E up, but, oh. Now we're gonna send it through the dishwasher and see how well it holds up. All right, I mean, I don't know. I definitely think it oh, needs to. It's not gonna hold up. Hmm. Mm. I think we're gonna need the pressure. I just ripped the L. Oh, but now it's kind of stuck. Oh, I did rip the L. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Oh, you can peel it right back off. We can start again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what do you guys know? Anybody know anything about? Yeah, has anybody done uh, direct to film printing on t stainless steel tumblers or stainless steel? Should Did we I, need uh, to wash it with it alcohol? Oh, yeah, maybe we should have done it with alcohol or something. All right, I don't know. Well, that one will come back to you, project fail, but we've got some good ones. Yep. All right. Do you want to revisit some of the others that yep. we did before I think you it's do time your to last revisit one? them, and then I have a bonus project. All right. So the slate, while I was sitting here, the circle where the acrylic piece was, 
got really hot. So that acrylic really held some heat. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. No, I well, see that it's discolored the acrylic. I think like that's the got back some side kind of is shiny and looks nice. But I think I'm wiping it off. Let's try a paper towel. All right, let's see, because I can see. Get your camera and show it up close, where you can see that it's discolored. I'm rubbing it pretty hard. It's not coming off. Yeah, so it looks like that was too much heat for the acrylic. It did not like 300 for what, 20 seconds? You did it twice? No, I think I only did it the once. Looks pretty good though. It's nice and flat, so yeah, the slate nice worked. It's just, it looks like it discolored the black. It's not shiny um, on the outside Around of the, the image. Edges. But the image is stuck, so did it stick to the acrylic? Yes, the image is on there. It's not going anywhere, uh, but it may have been too hot for that black acrylic. Too so, hot to handle. So we may have to try that one again. Too cold to hold. All right, we'll revisit these. You want to take a look at these? So this is the birch. Yep, this it's is nice the birch. and cool. And oh, this is the canvas, good. and they look great. They yeah. look really great. They look really great. I bet you we could have done a better job wrapping that one. Yeah, one if you look at the edges, it's not that clean on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But this edge, I wrapped it. That looks pretty good. That's really cool. Now I'm excited. Let's check this metal out. I know, I'm worried now, now that I've seen the, the steel tumbler, I'm a little bit worried about the Oh, the metal sign. So our image was much larger than the metal plate. Um, so part of it has stuck to the paper. So we're just peeling it off. Seems like that's working really well. Pulling away from the metal. Yeah. Staying on the paper. Oh, there you go. Came out pretty nice. Yeah, it feels like it's got like a rubber, yeah, like a rubber, like a rubber coating, coating on, on it. it. And you can feel where the letters are. They're like raised almost. That's cool, all right, that's cool. So hold that. The canvas and the birch. Look at these guys. Look awesome. Yeah. Oh, and the acrylic. Mm, project fail. You think so? Yeah, it's all dull fail. around it. I mean, it does. It did stick to the acrylic, but it discolored it around the. I'm not like I'm not going to use that. Well, we know it's possible. Now we just have to dial it in. Yeah, I think it's a heat setting issue. Um, but I think I think my favorite are the aprons. Oh, the apron. Yeah, it looks the best. Here, hold this, and I will grab that. I mean, that's what this is really for. Yeah, Oops. that's what this is really for. On my mic. Fabrics, and it does a fabulous job at the fabrics. Yes, yeah, it does great on the fabrics. Bonus project. We're gonna make a pizza. Don't worry, it's just a fake pizza. <laughs> the printer settings for the pizza were white at 1440 by 1440 resolution. Color resolution was 1440 by 1440. Image type was photograph. That size was medium and large. Our color settings were color at 65%, white at 100%. Our white ink was 100% white under color pixels. This was a seven and a quarter inch pizza. This is a personal pan pizza. Oh, look at that. I'm a good cook. Ooh, it's so cheesy. Look at that. <laughs> will it DTF? It will. It will. You can totally DTF your own pizza. <laughs> do not eat this pizza. Actually, do not eat this pizza. <laughs> I know, it's looking pretty good. It does look good. Pizza for dinner? <laughs>
We're still excited to see what else we can do with this printer. I have some more great ideas that I'm looking to try. I want to try some glitter. I want to try doing DTF on glass. Oh, yeah. And of course, we've already talked about our furniture flip. I have a piece of furniture where I want to print a decal and put that on the top of the table and then cover that. I think that's going to look really cool, too. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. We love the interaction. I love sharing with you guys. And I think we have another Zoom call coming up here soon too. In a couple weeks. We're about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it again. Oh, and we'll also see you on Tuesday for uh, Test Cut Tuesdays. It's one of my favorites. You guys want to know how we set this printer up? You can watch this video right here. <laughs>